Welcome back, Terrifics. Missed you during the break. I hope you missed us. This is your live continuing coverage of Photo Plus Expo 2015, the official coverage on Be Terrific. You're also watching on PhotoPlusExpo.com. You are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. I'm Michael Arts. This is Zach Setawan is joining us from Joby. You guys know Joby because Joby makes these really cool gorilla pods and all sorts of things that make mounting your camera so easy and so quick, and you even have quick release plates on this. But it's a whole lot more. I actually um, also use this all the time, which is the uh, micro, iPhone or the, the micro, mobile device. The micro tripod is yeah. what it is. Yeah. And the and the uh, but this is the uh, mobile device Our grip holder, type. and uh, you can put this. I don't know the technical term, <laughs> but you just said it. Uh, you can put this any mobile phone in here, and then on any tripod because it's got a quarter twenty. It is. It works with uh, almost every single smartphone out there. We have two sizes. We have a. Smaller size for basically the iPhone 5S. Okay. And then this works with all the larger phones, all the newer so ones. So what I like about this, and I'm going to show it off real quick and then show it off on the product cam, is that we can fold it like yep. that and put it in your pocket. You can also mount it to your key ring right there. And uh, then of course, you can just unfold it and now you've got a mount for your tripod so you can have it with you all the time just like yeah. you have your Yeah, and that's our, uh, that's our Joby grip type mount. Um, and you'll notice when it pairs with this uh, Micro 800 here, I'll show you in just a second. Okay. Um, if you pair it up to the bottom of the Micro 800, one thing that's kind of cool is, let me put it on there, is if you fold it down, the Micro 800 folds down flat with it so you don't wow. need to detach it. And you can just put the whole thing in your pocket. That's awesome. Take it out. Um, it's perfect for sitting in the, um, on your desk by your computer when well, you're uh, there during really the day, you're watching it, or you want to take photos of yourself, you can just put it up. It's, I was going to say, it's great shot. for selfies, it's great for FaceTime, it's great for shooting, but it's also great for consuming content because now oh, yeah. you've got to stand to, to watch your content. Um, talk about the, uh, so, so this is, uh, what is this thing by the way? I was so this say, one for, is, yeah. so this is new. This is our um, auto vent clip and it has an extra piece there. So what Wait, it does. Wait, so you said an auto vent clip, so I think we, I know where we're going. So instead of uh, taking a su suction cup and mounting my uh, my mobile device to the windshield. Which we do have a suction cup. Okay. If you wanted to use the suction You've cup, you could. You've got the suction cup mount. This is nice. Yep. This is actually really good. Our uh, suction cup mount is by far the best suction cup mount in that class. Well, there was a t We did a ton of engineering uh, on the suction cup mount. Uh, if you watch our video on yep. it, uh, joby.com, uh, you'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff we did where we tested it. What I like about it is you've got an articulating arm so you can really move this around. Um, but you've got a ball head, so you can really move this around yep. to the right angle you need. But also, suction cups are so hard to stick, but this one seems like it would be really easy to stick. It sticks pretty good, and what we did is, um, most suction cups have a large lever on top, mm -hmm. so it brings all the mass up higher, which means the higher and higher and higher you go, it creates a little bit more vibration. So ours is a, if I can bring it up here on the camera, ours is a twist lock, <sighs> so it twists. And you might be able to see it on the back. The, uh, yeah, I see it. The inside of the suction cup goes in. But it makes it really, really strong. You can also take the, uh, the arm off. And you can either put a Gorilla Pod arm, which we have a flexible one. Okay. So say you have in your car, you just want to move it real quick. You can, put a you can just pod do it real quick. Yeah. If you want to mount, uh, say, a GoPro or something to the outside of your car, you would use our locky arm. You can just lock it on there real quick. Um, and that'll work on the outside. You can put this on the outside. Yeah, as long as you, um, we, we recommend you clean the surface really sure. good. Because with any suction cup out there on the market, no matter, it all comes down to how clean, how non-porous and smooth the surface is. Right. Then as long as you stick it on there, I mean, it'll stick. We always do say put a tether, you know, just to, just to be right, safe. Sure. Um, but in testing, uh, we stuck one on uh, the motorcycle that I ride every day to work. And um, you look it, like you look like a motorcycle guy. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've got that look, like a cool motorcycle guy. I'm going to guess it's a Ducati. Um, currently, I'm on my 23rd motorcycle, and 23rd? I'm on a, uh, yeah, wow. Ka Kawasaki ZX6R right, right now. So. Very nice. And I, but I have four in the garage. Oh, so. so what are the other three? So I have two Honda Groms, okay. uh, which are small, like yep. 125 cc's. And then there's another CBR 600 RR. Ooh, a CBR. Right. Wow. So basically, my wife rides the CBR 600. I ride the <laughs> ZX6R. <laughs> And we have the Groms, and on the weekend we uh, put out a whole bunch of cones and we race each other. And Do you really? Lots. Yeah, that's all we bought them for was to, 
to put on our leathers and race around on these little tiny bikes and crash, so. And <laughs> crash, you <laughs> purposely do that? Well, you got to beat each other, and yeah, we're both competitive, so <laughs> sometimes it happens. You don't get hurt? No, not if you're wearing a full leather suit. And they're only this, they're tiny bikes, the little yeah, ones. I know. The ones are big, but the other ones are small, so. Yeah, but I, I still don't, I, my, my purpose in life is not to crash. Eh, crashes happen. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, but so, the suction yeah, cup, put uh, your, so, you put it on the bike. So in testing for it, we uh, stuck it on the bike for a week. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to test now, the... Now, well, hold on. Before you tell everybody how fast you were driving, you might not want to tell everybody that. You might say somebody else's bike at the office you tested it on. Well, <laughs> prior to the uh, test that you see in the video, yeah. which uh, the one in the video is 157 miles an hour, and we did three runs at 157. Oh, it, you have this documented on video, so it, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind on, of... Yeah, it's on our product video. Yeah. Uh, it was a totally closed off environment, road. Okay. 157 um, miles an hour. Yeah, we just didn't have a road long enough though to, uh, to go any farther. But um, yeah, we could have gone up to like 170, we had no problems. But be prior to that, we tested it for a week solid, uh, going back and forth an hour to work. And basically. you never took it off. We never took it off. Uh, we wanted to see how it would do with extremely cold and then getting really, really hot during the day and the suction cup performed flawlessly. Wow, that's great. But, but now we have yeah. our auto vent clip. Um, which we just released. So if you're inside your car, you can just stick it right onto your vent. Um, the grip tight comes off, comes on. There's a adjustable ball right here on the top. So you can put it on your uh, vent mount, and move vent. It around. You can adjust it to how you want it. I like that. And then you just lock it down, put your phone in there. Oh, upside down, put your phone in there and you're good to very go. Very cool, very, so, very cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm big into the mobile filmmaking movement. Um, I think it's really important, and it's good because you always have your phones. I actually yeah, own the domain ifilmmaking.com. And I'll just fit in there like that. Because that's how into it I am. I've done seminars, and I help people learn about mobile filmmaking. I love mobile filmmaking. Wow, that's really yeah. great. So they work what really, are you rocking? Really well. them? That's a Moto, isn't it? Moto X. Yeah. Always Android. You're an Android <laughs> guy, huh? Always Android. Um, right. But basically, Joby started with uh, the Gorillapod. Yeah. It's what how we're did, known how for. How did Joby start? Like, so. In my mind, some photographers said, hey, we got to be able to do this better. It's, you know, we need something that's light, that travels well, that's flexible, that we can mount everywhere. Is, is that kind of how it started? So, <clears throat> from what I've been handed down and yeah. heard, um, uh, the original founder was named Joe Ben. Uh, he was an engineer. And he was into photography. And he came up with this as a concept for having a small flexible tripod that he could mount to things while he was out shooting by himself. Um, and basically, he came up with this design. It was one of his first products. Uh, it took off. We've sold millions and millions yeah. of the uh, Gorilla Pods. Pretty much every photographer has at least one. Yeah, at least yeah. one. And um, I have, before I, I started working at Joby, I had two of these, which I carried for years. Um, I even filmed a, a documentary where it was two motorcycles on the road for 90 days, 12,000 miles, wow. carrying all the camera equipment on the back of a motorcycle. That's insane. Um, and plus the tents and everything, no support crew, no on extra On the back of a motorcycle, did you yeah, have like a bikes. little U-Haul trailer or nope, something? Nope, no trailers, just uh, we, had, we had two containers on each side and then one on the top. Uh, we carried two uh, 5Ds, um, a 7D, four lenses, seven uh, action cameras. A ton of batteries. Seven hard drives, two oh laptops, God. batteries, all the other microphones, everything that we needed, plus tents. <laughs> we ended up with, I ended up having tents? no- How do you get a tent on a bike? I mean, fit. we fold this thing up. <laughs> it folds up. It, it, this is bigger than and, a minivan. And um, yeah, and all the gear. I ended up having to ditch my sleeping bag and my <laughs> pillow and- So wait, what'd you do to sleep? Slept on the floor. Wow, you were inspired by Easy Rider? No, no, not Easy Rider. Uh, really? No. <laughs> Inspired by a long, it sounds, cause it long way like round. Because it sounds like how they shot on Easy Rider. Uh, there's a documentary with Ewan McGregor okay. called Long Way Round. All right. And they did the same thing, basically. They went on this large trip, but they had two SUVs or full of uh, yeah. camera guys behind you them. We had two bikes. We brought two bikes. We just wanted to see if technically we could do it. <laughs> and, in, and in filming something like that, you have to be very, very careful on what you bring. So we knew we needed to bring tripods. We knew we needed to film video and we needed to mount it to objects, bring it towards us. We needed to be able to hold it as a so steady cam. So this was the perfect solution. So, can you grab my camera? So, um, what we did though is to uh, to shoot with the, the 5D Mark III. Sure. Um, and here, they're going to hand me one right now. Yep. Um, 
There you go. Nice heavy 5D Mark III, by the way, that yep. works and beautifully with that. I already have a Let me plate ask you something real quick top. while you're doing that, while you're putting the uh, the 5D on. Oh, I didn't realize you had a plate on it. So I, that took I always have a plate seconds. on it. <laughs> uh, how? Where can people find this documentary, by the way? Because um, it sounds it's fascinating. PursuitHorizon.com. PursuitHorizon.com. Yeah, and awesome. it's on it's on Vimeo. You can watch it off Vimeo. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, it was a lot of work trying to make a two-hour film. Yes. It's mostly about inspiring people to follow their passions. Um, that's that's that pretty seems, much uh, what the movie is about. Seems perfectly in line with Be Terrific, so PursuitHorizons.com. I'm going to check it out. PursuitHorizons.com. Hopefully one of the Terrifics makes a note for me about that so I remember it later, but I want to check it out. I'll, I'll wind up talking and about it And after you time. watch PursuitHorizons.com, go to Joby.com, J-O-B-Y.com, and you can buy the gear that we use to film it. Well, um, and I'll have to have you on again to talk about the film. Yeah, you could if you want. We'll have you on via Skype. In our, we do a, a live studio show out of our studio every day. Yeah, so sounds we'll good. Talk but about that. So what, what I did is I basically took... Wow, I've never thought of that as an idea. That this. is a brilliant idea. And because the farther your hands are sure. away from the camera, it's easier to keep it steady. If you try to hold one of these like this and get in, you're always getting these little tiny micro shakes. This is, let me see this If you second. pull your so hands this is apart. A 24, this is a 24 to 70, that's what right. I thought. It's a pretty it's big a, one. It's a, it's a 2.4, uh, right? Yeah, the new 2. one. 2.8, rather. The new, the new yeah. 2.8. And, uh, I mean, it's a big, heavy lens. This is a, a heavy rig, but you're right. This when is a lot. When you put your arms apart, yeah. it allows you to be steady. It allows you to, with your thumb, operate the, uh, oh, wow. the, F's, the shutter. Right. Or the, um, the, re the record the stop, the start, stop yeah, and, the back. and uh, you can actually record, you can do some of the actual functions, you're right, mm -hmm. without moving. And wow. you can film real easily that way. Then you can also set it on the side of the road, sure. record. Have you ever hung the 5D like that with the uh, with the GorillaPod? Yeah, we've, um, so let's see, I've taken. Because we have, we've done that with the GorillaPod and we kind of think we're insane. But yeah, it, I've hung it upside down. Yeah. I've taken it flat and used gaff tape, yeah. stuck it to the front of a uh, high performance Mini Cooper and we chased a pro cycling team. Um, you're Uni you're United certifiable, Health. you know that. Yeah. <laughs> We this chased, is pretty awesome, though. Yeah, we chased, I think all photographers and, and filmmakers are certifiable. Maybe. We do, we do crazy stuff like this. Maybe. Yeah, we, we just gaff taped it to the front of a uh, Mini Cooper like this and filmed these pro cycling guys. They were doing about 64 miles an hour downhill through these yeah. twisties and allowed us to get really, really close to them. That's um, pretty awesome. Um, but, but, I mean, we'll do anything for a shot. That's the Anything for a shot. Yeah. Uh, there was one point... Even risk our gear and our lives. One point in our documentary, we are climbing up a, a mountainside and... Uh, I had to basically hold the uh, the camera out like this. Let me turn it so you can see. How it. did you get to Joby, by the way? And we're, I'm like climbing up the mountain oh like this with God. one hand, trying to jump up a chain with, you're, like oh, this. Are you serious? Yeah, I almost fall one time, but you are certifiable. <laughs> um, how did you get to Joby? So uh, before I started working for Joby, I worked uh, as an independent on my own for about eight and a half years. Uh, I did a lot of uh, camera operator work for Biography Channel, PBS New York, uh, Speed Channel, just a bunch of stuff like that, um, and a lot of photography. And then with Joby, I entered a contest on their website. It was for a mobile uh, app contest. Sure. I entered the contest, won it. I won a 5D. Wow. Not, not this one, but another one. Yeah. Um, I won the 5D, and then from then on, I just kind of became a huge fan. I already owned the Focus. I started using more and more of their products. Uh, I was a big advocate of theirs and I would send them in content. And then I came by Petaluma when I was on my trip up by San Francisco. I liked the area just north of San Francisco. Uh, they had a job opening and I thought, eh, maybe just once I'll uh, not work for myself and go and try to see what it's like to live in one spot as opposed to just traveling nonstop. As, a, as opposed to putting the tent and the gear on the back of the bike. Well, yeah, but that was fun. <laughs> that wasn't really work. For you it was, for me, I don't know. <laughs> Um, and so then that comes basically, basically that is, it comes in all different sizes. So this would be more for a, a point and shoot or a, a action cam like a GoPro or even your phone. That is our GorillaPod action tripod. Okay. And uh, here I'll just put this out of the way. Yeah, here. yeah, just make sure you don't drop it. But so this that's is a cool our thing. I mean, it took you two seconds to basically make that work right there. Yeah, I've and done it. That's a lot of weight. I've done it a few million times. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, this is what is cool is, you know, a tripod yeah. would have taken you 10 minutes. It, it'd be too big. It wouldn't fit on the table. How would you mount it? All this stuff. Yeah. That's, that's true. That's very cool. So this is our GorillaPod action tripod. So it comes with a quick release plate on the top. Yeah. So anything with a quarter 20. 
Which it means you can put a GoPro mount on it, or you can... Or, well, it also comes with this, our GoPro adapter. Oh, wow. Which has a quarter 20 on the bottom, and there just clicks in. And then you've got, uh, you've you, got you've you put could put a grip tight if you want sure. it onto that too. So you've got two other things that I've got to see here. One, um, or or maybe that is the suction cup in the box. Is that it? Nope. This is our. So this is a box for our action jib kit. Okay. And basically, my job at Joby is, I take all no way. the images. So this is. This is a portable, like mini jib. Mini jib that you can take around and shoot. You can put your GoPro on it, so that's part of this. Which, you know, is it's it, this is not it, lest you think, in the words of Al Michaels, lest you think that you this is a in there. deep sea fishing rod. It's yeah. not. It's a jib. Oh, I like the way this operates. So you put a GoPro right here on the end. Okay, hold on. Or any other action shot. camera. Yeah. Okay, and, and then, then you can swivel it up and down. Tilt it. And now, it's a jib. So you've got a jib arm. Yep. Wow, look at that for your crane shots. You yeah, get crane shots on the road. Does that can. fold up? Yeah, the, which, when, you, when you're using oh. this, what you really want to yeah, do, good. I know, I won't pull the mic out, is you'll, you'll lock it down into your hip to get it nice and solid. Okay. And then it allows you just to be real smooth when you're, uh, when you're doing your shots. It also breaks down, so um, the whole thing comes apart in literally a few seconds. So you can take the end off, you can take the three poles. So if you have a monopod, you could use a monopod instead of the poles. So I this is this is the package without the poles, and right. then we also have another one that ha includes the poles. poles. So my question is, Joby's stuff is always very reasonably priced, very affordable, great value. How much is this? I believe, I think it's sixty nine ninety nine. Okay. I, very, I could be I could be wrong. It's either sixty nine or seventy nine, but I believe it's very 69. reasonable. Even if it's seventy nine, if you said a hundred, it'd be reasonable. So and and one of the best things about this is um, it breaks down into a small little bag. And then you put it in your suitcase. Yeah, I mean it's or on the so back of your butt or your so motorcycle. Say, say you're snowboarding and you want to go out with your buddies. Yeah. So you want to get like a cool crane shot while you're snowboarding, or they're coming by you and you want to be low down by the moguls and then come up. There's really no way to carry a, a, a small jib out onto the mountain. Well, and you'd have to have a tripod too. You need a tripod, a jib, five pounds of weight. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah. Um, so with this, you can throw it real small, put a little bag, stick it in your backpack, ski down halfway down the mountain. Pull it out real quick, cool assemble shots. it in like two seconds, in and two you're seconds. ready to go. Yeah. Um, very, very cool. We have a really good, so when we when we built this product and designed it, right off the bat, um, no, that was right. right off the bat, we noticed that uh, our advocates that we sent it out ahead of time were sending us really, really cool images. So normally we go out and we make a product video, but for this one, you we, let them we, make we it. were getting such cool stuff that the majority of the video is them. Wow. Um, I did about 10%, but the rest is just all of That's them sending cool. in footage. Uh, and you can see it on joby.com. You got to check that out. So. Got to go to joby.com because you got to check out all the products. Got to check that out. Zach, thank you so much for coming on. Hey. We love Joby, we love this stuff, and, and we have Joby stuff. So Good. we look forward to getting more stuff. We, we look forward to having that and uh, doing some tech reviews too for our audience on this stuff as well. Zach, thank awesome. you so much. He's Zach from Joby. Check out Joby, what a great company. Joby.com. I'm Michael Artsis. This is your live official continuing coverage of Photo Plus Expo 2015 on Be Terrific. Don't go anywhere, Terrifics. We'll be back right after this, and you make Be Terrific special.